Setting up Fox and Plan Kit to receive incoming SIP calls is easy. In this video, we will show you how to accept incoming calls from SIP-based devices like a PBX, Call Center ACD, or existing SIP trunk service. Fox and Plan Kit makes it easy to purchase and use a new phone number from more than 60 countries as part of your call scenarios. You can even port existing phone numbers to Kit. However, sometimes you have calls coming into existing telephony infrastructure that must be used. Perhaps you just want to forward calls to Kit in certain situations, like after routing via legacy PBX. Or maybe you have existing phone numbers with another SIP trunk provider that you cannot easily port. Box and Plan Kit includes an incoming SIP interface for these scenarios. Let's see how to do that. Before we start, this tutorial assumes you already have an account with Box and Plan Kit in an inbound scenario setup. See our other videos or the links in the description if you've not done this already. Kit automatically creates a SIP address for each inbound scenario that you create. To see this address, just click on the eye icon next to your scenario. Make sure to click on the copy button to save that for later. Before you can start receiving SIP calls, you need to specify the IP addresses of any SIP entities that will be sending calls to Kit. We will enter these IP addresses in Box and Plan Kit's SIP whitelist interface. Go there by clicking on the Integrations tab to the left. There you will see the SIP whitelist tab. Click on that. Now enter the IP addresses that Kit should respond to. You can also enter a CIDR to specify a range of addresses. Your IT team should be able to provide these addresses. To allow calls from any addresses, you can enter 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0 but that is not recommended for anything other than quick testing. That's all we need to do on the Box Implant Kit side to accept incoming SIP calls. Now you just need to set up your SIP infrastructure to forward calls to your scenario SIP address. This procedure will vary depending on your environment. The example here shows an asterisk system with FreePBX. In that environment, you need to set up a custom SIP trunk to forward to a SIP address with a fixed username part. More advanced kit scenarios can make use of caller-related variables, such as the caller ID and display name, so make sure to populate these appropriately if they'll be needed. Once your infrastructure is set up, place a test call. Hi, you called with a SIP connection. You should be able to see the incoming SIP call details and Kit's call history. That's all it takes to send SIP calls to Vox Implant Kit. Make sure to check out the links below for more information reach out to our sales or support teams for help.